Hey, um, sorry. I know I've been a bit distant lately. Um, she gets stuck in my head about things sometimes, and I know it's stupid because all that is doing is causing a divide between us. You were right. Uh, I think too deeply about things, and I had no reason to confront you like I did. So I want to make it up to you. Um, I finished work early and I've been into town to get you a little surprise for tonight. May I say, I think you'll be impressed. <laughs> I can't wait to see you tonight. Um, I love you. Okay. Sorry. What? Why is she staring at us? I've got no clue. Let's go, shall we? So why haven't we been on a date sooner? I've heard so much about you. Oh, really? What have you heard? <laughs> well, I can't tell you that. Ah, uh, is that so? Afraid so. Nothing too bad, I hope. You can show me for yourself. Another drink? At mine? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Great. Sex on the beach? Am I insinuating something? That's for you to decide.
just need to pop to the bathroom. Of course. You know, you surprised me. How so? Well, you have no trouble getting girls. No trouble getting them to like you. We even have a genuine connection. So why would someone like you need to drug someone? What? Well, I give you all the signs I was going to sleep with you. I even paid for the taxi back, I was so keen. So why the fuck did you spike my drink, George? Uh, I didn't spike your drink. Oh, you did. And Katie's. And Sarah's. That girl from the hospital. And my sister. <coughs> What's the matter? Can't handle your own medicine. What have you done to me? See, when I made your drink, I put some magic powder in it. And you got so excited at the thought of me unconscious on your bed that you necked a lot of it. Worked better than I thought. You'll be arrested for this. You fucked yourself over. That's where you're wrong, George. See that camera there? Filmed the whole thing. Well, not the whole thing. Just the bit where you poured that shit into my drink. Please, don't do this. Is that what my sister said? Before you raped her? Please. Stop. Oh no. I'm not finished yet, George. You've got some more of your own medicine to take first. Throw your two pence piece in as well. Because I don't want to hear it. He needs a more than me, so why don't you go talk to him? 
Hey. Was I talking to you? You know the rules. Don't talk unless I ask you a question. So who are you? What do you want? I am, uh, I'm James. I uh, was listening over there and I just wanted to say... Oh, I know. You can't understand me because I'm Irish. Or your folk music doesn't really fit the vibe of the city. Or is it actually you're not that talented and you should get a real job? Come on, I've heard it all before. I was actually going to say, I really like what you're doing here. I actually work for a music label. Number one records. You're shitting me. You're up for it. I'd love to get you in the studio. This isn't some sort of joke, is it? Because if it is, I'll warn you now, I am a biter. I promise. But be in the studio at an hour. And you're dressed in the car. See you then. I told you from the start I could do it. <laughs> but nobody believed me. Y'all said I was crazy. I can't go. Oh, what? They sent you into a bit of my feminine side, did they? Hi, Mallory. I'm Detective Inspector Atwood. I'm taking over this case. Where's Inspector Young? He's on leave. We'll get him back. I'm not talking to you. He's had a family emergency. He won't be back for some time. Now, you understand your brother's facing some serious allegations. We just want to help him. He didn't do it. Well, our evidence suggests otherwise. Well, it's wrong. He's an idiot, not a murderer. With all due respect, Mallory, you... You never think it's them until it is. Well, it wasn't him. Right, your evidence is wrong. You know, I have a brother too. God, I hate him. He does my head in. But there's nothing I wouldn't do for him. It's like... What's that... That thing where, um... Someone who's been kidnapped develops positive feelings toward their kidnapper. Stockholm Syndrome? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. It's, uh, sometimes it feels like that. It doesn't matter what he does, I, I'd always end up helping him. <laughs> so annoying. One time he tried to sell my badge online, nearly got me fired. <laughs> That's nothing. I want to call my brother digging some sort of underground bunker in the garden. No. Just so we could advertise in it. No way. Yeah, happen more times than you'd think. I'm assuming he's stopped now. Oh, you'd think so, but then the other day I caught him digging a hole in the back garden. When I asked him about it, he was like, 
Oh, just like old times. <laughs> Such an idiot. What day did he come round and do this? Tuesday, I think. Mm. Have you seen your brother since? No. Have you had a look in the hole? <laughs> no. He made a door and... He locked it. When was the last time you saw your brother? Tuesday. Tuesday night. Did he go into the garden? Mallory, did he go into the garden? I'll be right back. The 20th of May was the hottest day of the year so far, and at 5 p.m., Culture Secretary Oliver Dowden led the government's daily COVID update and reiterated the rules. You can meet one person outside your household in an outdoor public place, provided that you stay two metres apart. Also at Downing Street, Boris Johnson's staff were at work. Among them was Martin Reynolds. Hello. Hello? Oh, hello Caroline, it's Julie. Oh, hi Julie. Uh... Are you okay? <sighs> yes, thank you. I noticed that the new neighbours parked in that spot again. Who do they think they are? That spot is for visitors for all the residents here. And their dogs are barking all day. I'm going to knock on their door tomorrow and speak to them. Sorry Julie, <laughs> is this important? I'm very tired, it's been a long day. Been at work, so I've only just got back. So. so you haven't been in at all today? No. Oh, that can't be right. What? Caroline, I saw someone in your flat today. I thought it was you, but I just saw you arrive back home. What do you mean? There's someone in your flat. Caroline, there's, there's someone in with you now. Caroline? You need to get out. Come on. Hold on. I I I'm going to call the police. 